Hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, today we're playing some Ark Survival Evolved. Um, <clears throat> it's not a normal, I guess, playthrough of Ark Survival Evolved. We've already got ourselves set up, as you can see. We've got Kigas sticking out of the wall. But, um, yeah, so I've been playing on this server since, uh, or it's been about, let's say about four months since I've started on this server. Um, and about a month ago, there was an issue with the server, and the server had to wipe, so, uh, but with that being said, like, the admins and stuff of the server were super helpful, super helpful to the people that were on the server before the wipe, and helped, you know, uh, restore some of the things that were lost, but a lot of this stuff, like, the building itself had to be rebuilt and everything, which is, wasn't too bad, um, but this is, uh, this is the base of Ugga, Ugga, <laughs> Ugga Hawk, um, just cut my hair but so that's why I'm bald anyway um so yeah this uh this only took me a, probably like two or three hours to build um get some reaper queens out here but give a proper tour so we got the main entryway which is just the gate and wall <clears throat> and then come through here and these trees and most of the shrubs and stuff around here are placed, uh, with, this, is a, this is a very modded uh, PvE server. Um, it's Firefly Gaming, if anyone was ever interested in checking it out. Um, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so, uh, like, these flowers and stuff here aren't natural. That's stuff uh, placed by me. Um, this right here is boss platform, because you can use transmitters to go into bosses and everything. Uh, this is just kind of temporary, but it's my cloning uh, pad. <clears throat> Got the teleporter to come in. Uh, this is one of my new favorite dinos. It's uh, called Pygmy, which is smaller than normal size. That I wonder if I have one around. There's uh, another, like regular rhinos are like twice the size of that. To give you an example, this is a Pygmy Bigfoot, and here's how big the, a Bigfoot normally is so it's like half the size of uh, this regular counterpart but they're pretty cool and they're much faster so having a fast rhino is super helpful um, <clears throat> also they're much smaller so they can charge around and not get hit on like rocks and trees as much um, move this back a little bit in case someone comes to the base. Don't gotta worry about the rhino. But uh this is a shiny dino, that's why it's got like the particle effects around it. <clears throat> but so uh, yeah that's the outside for the most part. Um we'll fly around the main base here but so we got the courtyard, walled off area, and then it's pretty much cliff sides all the way around the base. <clears throat> And we're doing some Giga mutating, so we've got a, a base full of Gigas at the moment. But and these are greenhouse um, like balconies. And then we've got the upper area, but we'll go in from the bottom. So this is like the main entrance. And we'll check the little side entrance out. We got some trophy stands over here with most of the bosses we've killed. <clears throat> got the dragon. Uh, I believe that's uh, Megapithecus or something. It's a big old monkey. <clears throat> but uh, got the brood mother. This is probably supposed to be the easiest boss, but it's one of the harder ones. It does a lot of damage. We got some titans, ice titan, forest titan. And <laughs> that's uh, the planters to plant like all these artificial trees and stuff. And this is Modir or Motor, which uh, is an underwater boss on Gen Part One. But so we'll come over here. This is a little side entrance into the base. Got nice views all the way around. <clears throat> Coming over here, Giga Feet. We've got this sleepy head, always asleep during the day. <laughs> we got these cute little otter too. He's the artifact hunter. <clears throat> so we got our. It's pretty minimalist. I'm solo, so uh, which I, I play on other 
like this is a server cluster so there's other maps that I can travel to and stuff and I play on some other maps with other people which they were in one of my RuneScape videos and probably do another ARC video at some point with them in the video as well but these are some tech refrigerators just kind of showcase I guess some of the stuff some luck potions and just random things this is shiny essence so you can apply it to a dino and turn it into a shiny version got an almost infinite supply of mutton <laughs> it's crazy and here's the wall of resources <laughs> four uh, dedicated storage is pretty much filled with fertilizer and many many resources and these bigfoots are awesome they do a lot of damage with that sword but yeah it's coming on through the crafting area that's where we keep the blueprints over here. But we'll go up to the next floor. This is the elevator. So this is like the official second floor right here. <clears throat> and the reason I say official is because we've got this right here, which is like a chandelier. And I have uh, my mutation uh, or mutators that send off mutation pulses throughout the whole base. And this, since this is like the most centralized part of the base, it gets everything. This is a tech shield, um, gotta watch out for, I know it's PVE, but if someone gets in your base, you never know if they can take some stuff out of, there's certain workbenches that can't be locked. We got a tech sensor just in case, which we can check tribe log, <laughs> me killing a bunch of babies, which sounds awful, it's baby, like baby dinosaurs in a video game, <laughs> but um, yeah, tech sensor doesn't seem like it's picked anything up. So that was the chandelier right down here. And here's the second floor. This wall right here is really nice. I like this view. And we've got like the balcony that overhangs the cliff. But and if all those gigas weren't down there, it'd, I'm sure it'd look much nicer, but I've gotta try to get uh really high mutations on them. <clears throat> but uh this is like a breeding chamber. Of for like I was uh, doing dino or not dino uh, rhino lines in here, and we'll eventually get more stuff breeding in here. Um, so this is one of the gardens, which ah uh, that's unfortunate. It looks like a lot of my crops have died. Oh wait, no 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 no, the crops are underneath. Nope, they died. I think. Oof. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't been playing this too much the past like week. I've been, you know, streaming other games on the channel, trying to make other content. And this is like a collecting device that just like pulls stuff from various locations, like tames and stuff. So let's check out what's going on. Are you guys not? Y'all should be. Oh well, it's that room. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to collection options, fertilizer, and then distribution options, fertilizer to crop plots, and that should at least fill some crop plots up. <laughs> Getting a little sidetracked during the tour. And this balcony right here is just like decoration, but overlooks the entryway. <clears throat> And this guy harvests stuff for me. <laughs> Oop, wrong way. And here's the top floor. These right here are like uh, artificial breeding chambers. <clears throat> We've got rhinos going in this one, so you can kind of see like the hologram of uh, oops, makes sense with screenshot, but see like the hologram of the rhino. And these are like soul ball or uh, cryo ball terminals. You can store dinos in there. We actually <clears throat> have a bunch of gigas to hatch, so we'll do that right quick. <clears throat> but yeah, this is the whole base for the most part. I got the balcony right out here, which we saw whenever we did the t flying tour. But yeah, here's the balcony. That's that's my Valgiro base. 
on Firefly Gaming PVE. Got my light at the top, and I'm pretty happy with this. It was kind of the design that I just made on this spot, or I don't know, I just kind of started placing foundations, and this is how everything turned out. <laughs> but I'm pretty happy with it. It turned out great. <clears throat> so we got a bunch of Giga Babies that just hatched. Did any of them get a melee mutation is the question. Probably not, but you know, we can hope. Oh, we did get one with a melee mutation. That's nice. Very nice. <clears throat> Most of those gigas are for trying to kill King Titan again. Or we, we did kill King Titan last night. And we'll end up fighting him again uh, one day soon. We'll probably stream that um, <clears throat> here soon. Like I've been like yesterday, I spent like a large por portion of the day customizing or like reworking the logo for Tomahawk and uh, made it a mu much more like my own thing because I kind of took someone else's template for the most part and just altered it a little bit which now I feel like I've you know changed a, a good bit more and I'll here soon I'm probably going to also change like the uh, like leather wrapping handle of the Tomahawk I'll I'm going to rework that because I'm not happy with how that looks. But, you know, making progress on little things on the channel. Um, we've got a, uh, also yesterday I made a, um, like a screen transition for if I, like, have to, st oh, wait, no, it's the, it's the stream starting soon. So once I start, like, you know, scheduling my streams a little bit more, I'll have the stream started uh, probably five to ten minutes early with that, uh, like picture that I made saying stream starting soon and then eventually I'll probably you know try to get more like animated stuff I guess that would be uh, you know something more interesting to have as a uh, you know like transition stream starting soon I uh, also want to make like a be right back uh, thing so like the other day I had to step away to use the uh, restroom I want to have like a transition screen for that or, like, if I'm ever playing, like, RuneScape and I need to put in my bank pen or whatever, have that be right back screen for a second so I can enter that in. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that's the base of, uh, that's, that's the whole base. And, oh, wait, we've also got a water pen, so we'll go check that out. It's very, very bare bones, though, so we'll get an outside tour first. So we've got... I know it's PVE, but the t uh, turrets are for wild animals, and I think this is gold, which would be pretty cool, because um, it's a pretty rare resource, and it looks like there's three gold nodes right beside my base, which is really, really cool. We're actually going to check that out here in a minute, but yeah, this is, this is my water pen, and we'll head on in through the elevator because it's the only entrance and we're breeding megalodons right now um it's a little crowded but and the reason we're able to be down here and you're like wait there's no water and there's fish swimming around you well this is a uh, a vacuum compartment and i have the edges of it turned to be invisible so if i go right over here i am now in water and swimming with the fishes so we'll try to squeeze past these Megalodon. And we've got the highest stat right here. We're up to 200 melee. And these things are monsters. This right here is a jellyfish that uh, a buddy on the server caught. And I mean, it's just massive. It's like the biggest jellyfish I've ever seen. So uh, he, got, he cloned it for me, and it was, it was pretty cool. So. But yeah, this is the water pen, and we'll you know, head back down, or head back up, actually. <laughs> and there's the base up there. It's right out of render range. I wish it was close enough to be in render, but honestly, it'd probably be a little more laggy down here if that base was in render. But you can see, like, the propagators or something, the artificial breeding chambers up there. Um, got some people talking on the server already. But, um, alright. There's a auction house 
for the server as well. <clears throat> it's the auction house. It, it used to be a lot bigger and uh, I'll say more work put into it. But after the light they, uh, you know, <clears throat> sorry, pickups. But um, <clears throat> they, you know, had to remake the auction houses pretty quick because, you know, it was a wipe and people wanted to start using the auction houses and stuff pretty soon. So I just threw some buildings up and, which I mean, it looks nice. Looked really, really nice before. These are a lot of the things other people are selling. There's, if you're wondering why certain things are like neutered and stuff, there's certain rules behind trading. Like if it's over 100 in a stat, it has to be neutered. But uh, so this is the auction house for this map, and we'll just go back and you know, figure out what we're gonna do from here. So got a bunch of stuff I need to do, but you know I'm gonna probably just do something that's a little more you know, action-packed. <clears throat> I need to go ahead and hatch all these like rhinos and stuff. So I'm, like, I'm gonna go ahead and do that because that'll take no time. But we are probably gonna go kill some titans here soon. And the bosses on this server cluster are on times 10 difficulty, so it's definitely a lot tougher to, to do a lot of the things in the game. Um, a moment, lost my train of thought. I was about to do something and <laughs> uh, forgot what I was about to do. Anyway, <clears throat> but we will get going. Yeah, all those transferred over. Need to start setting up the shadow main breed line, but I've been lazy. Uh, we'll get some gigas going. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of them are still tore up from the fight with uh, King Titan yesterday, or last night. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, Sam, Sam Kazam! <clears throat> Sam Kazam is awesome. It's actually one of the subscribers to the channel. And much, much appreciated <laughs> for the subscription. Every, every little, or not little, every subscription counts, every big subscription. <laughs> makes a huge difference. Alright, so, I need to actually focus on getting going. So, we're gonna start grabbing what we need. We're gonna go kill some titans. I just got, I'm so unorganized half the time. Just got stuff all over the place. Don't even have a tech bow on me. It's pretty important. Alrighty. That should, that should be good. Okay. Let me take a... Let me find my griffin, just in case I have to end up going to kill, um, like, sarcos and stuff. It's a little bug. That element, for some reason, when you get on, like, for the first time, it wants you to upload it, and you just throw it down and pick it back up, and it stops caring. I'm gonna head over to Extinction and take on some Titans.
<clears throat> Pretty sure I still have some gigas just scattered around the north of the map. They, a lot of them just like jumped into the trees and stuff. Alright, so with this being said, let's get right into it. We're gonna throw us a giga down and teleport on over to. Where is the forest? There it is, Forest Titan Terminal. I actually want to keep off the spyglass. I kind of prefer the not really knowing. But yeah. I know the terminal is like right up there, but it's better for us to just go ahead and kill everything. We need the trophies, and it's, a lot of this stuff is going to try to kill us if we don't go ahead and take care of it. Red cave drop over there, I just saw. Probably pick that up. If there weren't Perlovias in here, I might have come in here with something else, like maybe one of the Rhinos or Bigfoot, and have some fun with it. But with Perlovias, I'd rather play it safe than sorry and just bring out old Giga. trophies out of that. What is happening? Yeah, I'm just not going not gonna bother with it. <laughs> I think cave drops and stuff would be better. I mean, they're alright on, uh... I wonder if that's gold as well. It's a custom resource on the server. And it's gold and heart. Oh, ooh, that scared me. This should be a cakewalk. Make sure no one's coming to attack me. Uh, vertebra and T Rex arms. So let's go back. Let's see what we have. Oof. Okay. So with that being said, let's get the griffin out. Let's go get some vertebra. Um question is where to find some. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of lag when you're going that fast. <clears throat> I know I said I'd I'd keep this uh, the dino highlighting off, but it makes it a lot easier. Like a 
once I get a little more people, you know, in the stream or in the channel and streams and everything, I'll uh, here soon. I'll you know have like my second monitor set up and stuff, and I can actually interact with the chat. And that'll help you know kill a lot of the dead air. Um, still haven't heard back from that one channel. I guess they're you know, backed up with other like help requests. But um, I'm sure I'll hear back soon enough. And uh, what I may end up doing is just kind of doing like a little bit of overkill with citing their work and going ahead and like because they give you permission to use their music. It's just you have to uh, properly cite them in the video description. And I just want to make sure that I do it like you know properly uh, to make you know the creators of the music happy. So uh, waiting was waiting on that, but you know if. If I just do every step that they have and like overkill it and cite like every song or whatever, I'm sure it'll be okay because that's like all the instructions. So, <clears throat> but yeah, once we get that going, we can have like background stream music. And uh, my buddy Andrew said that you know he could help with um, like music or. Uh, you know, video editing, because I I'm, I'm really want to do a little bit of video editing here soon, and release, like, trim down videos with a lot of, you know, uh, filler, I, or just not, where nothing's going on, like, where I'm silent and stuff, so, alright, and we'll grab what, the rest of what we need for the fight, 100, probably should have just did that to start with. Um, what is this? We'll just take 15 because I don't remember exactly what it was. <clears throat> and we will get on over to fight the Forest Titan. So we're at the Forest Titan Terminal. We've got a few of our gigas here with us. Um, these are, you know, the stats we've got. And saddles are around, you know, 250 to 300. Um, <clears throat> we're about to summon the Forest Titan in just one moment. Let's go ahead and throw everything in there. Oh, well, <laughs> forgot to grab some of the uh, trophies. So let me you know, run back and get them. Thought I had everything. Alrighty. And we'll head right back in. <clears throat> and we're back. Alrighty, so we are at the Forest Titan Terminal. Uh, we're about to summon the Forest Titan to try to kill it and get the trophy from it and fight Gamma King Titan. Um, well, we gotta get the other trophies from other Titans as well, but we will be fighting Gamma King Titan. Uh, maybe not in this episode or this stream, but it will be it will be soon. Uh, so we've got a few of our gigas here. Uh, they're around the same stats for the most part. Well, this one's got much higher stats than like, this one over here, but been mutating them. So this is one of the old breeders. And so we're going to get this started. Go ahead and throw the artifacts in here. And yeah, there's only 10 T-Rex arms. We'll grab this back out and let's fight the Forest Titan. And we'll get this started. and we're in in the Forest Titan Arena which is you know, it's all part of the map it's just it spawns in the Forest Titan so we're here with a few gigas and we'll get this started we'll whistle them to attack and we'll get in here it should go you know somewhat easy I, I'm gonna say that and probably you know die but 
I don't know, it's already going pretty good. We've already got him down like, you know, 5% of his health or so. Yeah, this goes pretty fast. Uh, the bo I don't know if the boss difficulty uh, multiplier affects Titans, but for the server, the boss difficulty multiplier is on 10, I believe. And, uh, which makes certain fights pretty difficult. Uh, like the dragon fight, for instance, is a very, very tough fight. Um, but, you know, certain things, like, taking these titans out are pretty, pretty, like, very easy, so. And he's already, you know, way down on health, and he's only, what, taking, like, a fifth or so of ours. When one of the gigas seems like it can't even get him to attack properly. So now we should actually be doing more damage. <laughs> Alright, can I get a trophy? Or a taxidermy? Aha! I did not have the taxidermy for this guy. And I guess I didn't have the explorer notes. Um, huh, I thought it was going to show us more than just the that, but this is the loot we just got from it. Uh, not too shabby, you know, decent. It's a pretty easy fight. Gig is, you know, it did alright. It didn't take too much damage. I had a lot of wood on that Giga, I wonder how it must have been from this guy. Look at how he passed out, or like, you know, passed away. It's crazy looking. I mean, he is a tree, so I mean, they will eventually fall over once it rots. <laughs> but, uh, alright, so one Titan is down. Um, I believe I got his. Did I get his trophy? Yes, I got his trophy. Nice. That's what I need. So we'll toss that in the trophy box. And we. What are we going to do? What do we think it's like? We have any other gigas here is the question. We do, so that helps a lot. And we'll just grab you know, some that aren't damaged badly, and uh, we're gonna go see what we need to kill the forest titan, or not the forest, the, the ice titan. Oop, I think we might have just teleported to the wrong spot, but it'll be okay. Yeah. Wrong spot. wonder who put this here. Insanity. It's a cool little spot to have that. <clears throat> and this is just my, the Aga Hawk Tower. And it's <laughs> just a little outpost on top of one of the skyscrapers. Alrighty, Ice Titan Terminal, here we go. Oh, shoot. Hopefully, if I remember correctly, there's nothing dangerous. Good. Thought I was about to get mauled to death. Alrighty, so, Spinosail Fairy Claws. I think we got that. Let's go ahead and grab the artifact we need which is right over here. And so that's where we came in, that's the terminal. It's just right over here behind this rib cage. You gotta be careful because there's usually like, oh, dire wolves this time. Normally there's like dire bears. Oh, there's a dire bear. It's, a, it's a no worries though, because when you can fly, this is a really nice cave though, probably probably like a really good base in here if it lets you build. I don't know if it has building blocked or not. Alrighty. So Spino Sail and uh Fairy Claw. Spino Sail Fairy Claw.
Ooh, spectral Dodicarus. Pick me Anki. This is all this loot in here. We don't really need it. So we're off to fight the Ice Titan. Okay. So we're at the Ice Titan terminal. Um, about to, you know, go in and try and take on the Ice Titan and get its trophy so we can fight um, Gamma King Titan. Um, we fought Gamma King Titan last night, but we're going to use that trophy to make a tech cooker. And the next time we fight him, we're going to use that trophy to... Um, make a tech cooker for uh, an allied tribe that I've been running bosses with and uh, I mean it's pretty much my tribe members because on one of the other maps we're in the same tribe um, so and these are you know, some of the stats on the gigas we're about to take in we just got three gigas and we're gonna load this terminal up and go right to it Oh, this is <laughs> this guy is going a lot quicker than the um, Forest Titan, and it looks like he doesn't even want to fight us. I think that yep, I knew that was about to happen. That's right out of his range. Alrighty, so hopefully we can get him to actually attack us now, and this should go a lot, you know, quicker without him jumping out and healing himself. Where's his health bar at? Guess I'm too close to see it. Hmm. Ah, it's all okay though. We seem starting to get a little, you know, sc scratched up and bloody, so it's going good. pretty easy. Oh, I think he's about to freeze us. Let me try to get away from him. He's about to freeze the Giga, so we want to try to say, oh, is it? I thought it was still affecting me. I think it might be wearing off now. It's hard to tell. Oh, there's his health bar. Oh, he's gonna enrage my Giga. That's not good. Alright, let's run this. Okay. That's not good at all. Oh, nice. Okay. Whew. <laughs> My other gigas came to the rescue. He froze me and was he was just going to town, huh? Alrighty, so we'll put a little bit of levels into this giga. Ball them up. Any of them have the loot? Nope. So is this it? Yep. Alright, so what do we got for loot? Alrighty, not, not too shabby, you know. 
Some more tech gear. Not the best, but we'll take it. Back to the tower. So the next Titan is kind of the most pain in the butt. But it shouldn't be an issue. It'll just take a little bit of time. Those are all new armor pieces. Alrighty. For this we only need, or we can only use one Giga. We're going to use one of the higher melee ones. Now this one's damaged a bit, but that's probably the one we're about to use. I believe that the four or the desert titan, the final titan, I believe its arena is pretty safe to go into. Or the the cave where the terminal is. Famous last words. Alright, yep. Yeah, pretty safe. So here we are at the Desert Titan terminal. It's got really nice scenery in here. This as well will probably make a nice base if you could uh, put a base in here. I liked how the water and everything in here looks, but... Alright, so there's the terminal right there, and here's the artifact. For this, I think I need Sarko skin, which is going to be Fire Talon Sarko skin. Alrighty. So let us see what we can do about that. <clears throat> oh, nice. I really thought we were about to have to go out and get Sarko skin. That's it's huge that we don't have to. It's huge help. And 100 hearts. And let's get back in there. So we're off to fight the Forest Titan, or the Desert Titan. Okay. So we're here at the Desert Titan terminal. Quetz is sitting on the terminal for some reason. And. We're about to go fight the forest, or the desert titan. I keep getting the titans mixed up. We're about to fight <laughs> the desert titan. And we'll see how this goes. It shouldn't be too difficult. So we'll get right into this. We've got the tack quetzal. And the giga pin on the back. And we're just going to do one of the, I guess, most commonly used strategies to kill this titan. It's pretty cool. You see, like the arena forming around you and the shield closing above you. I really like that happens when you're going into this fight. I don't know if going into the other Titan terminals or Titan fights do this, but I know this one does and it looks really good. Alright, so we're in. Whistle passive. Uh, I need to whistle this guy to ignore group whistles. And then Giga time. Well, doesn't work if you accidentally fall off the back. <laughs> Alright. So let's see if we can make this work. <clears throat> It'll be nice once we have... Uh, like max melee gigas. This will go a lot quicker. I'm just trying to fly up with this gig is a bit of pain in the butt, but we'll get there. So it's targeting us right now. I'm trying to get underneath it so it can't lightning strike us. Alright, so it missed its lightning strike. trying to whistle the Giga to attack it, but 
can't see it unfortunately. And the good thing is this guy's got a lot less health, but oh yeah. <laughs> very, very easy to come to a an early demise. So let's try to get over here as quick as possible. And luckily we can do this command and get right back into it. Well, a little bit of a lag, I guess. Come on, game. Onward! Get back here, Desert Titan. Why are you running? I am the captain. Oh, goodbye, Giga. Yeah, so... It's a little, uh... Frustrating dealing with this sometimes, because the Giga likes to do stuff like that. But, you know, we'll just manage. This is probably the hardest fight, just because it's annoying. That might kill me. Whew, those lightning strikes are... They can be scary. I wish I could whistle this Giga to attack this, but... It's probably not gonna work. So I do get a pretty noticeable damage buff if I'm riding on the back of the Giga myself. Yeah, it won't let me whistle him to attack, unfortunately. Come on, game. <laughs> yeah, this is a very frustrating fight, especially when it doesn't want to let you whistle. <clears throat> Might be easier if you use gate frames, but for some reason the gate frames were just like refusing to snap properly whenever uh, I tried placing them on this saddle. So, which, I mean, we got them like. I don't know, 15% or so of his health gone in that first little bite. So as long as we can get a couple more. Let me on the back of the Giga, please. again. Yeah, this is easily the most uh, frustrating of the Titan killings. Giga doesn't want to go up half the time, and then just can't even go forward most of the time. Can I please go up game? Like, you let me go up earlier, and now you're just refusing to let me go up. Like, what is the deal? Good old arc being arc right now. I'm about to lose the Giga.
Alrighty. Is the Giga gonna attack on its own? Oh, it is. That's, that's good. Alrighty, so I don't know what changed, but <laughs> the course of this fight just went like 180. That was going really bad, and now I'd say it's going pretty good. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long at all. I might be able to kill it before its tail gets away from me. Oh yeah. <laughs> I thought I punched it for a second. I was like, there's no way. Alrighty, and that right there is how you somewhat easily take out the Desert Titan. I'll head down and grab his trophy and loot. Good old Ark. Come on now. Um, same quality loot as most times, so to be expected. Oh, <laughs> I don't have my teleporter. That is a huge rip. Okay. Uh, normally I have a teleporter that would teleport me and this uh, Quetzal back to base, but we do not have that, so... Um, oh, hold up. If this is public... It probably oh wait that's beds <laughs> thought it was a teleporter got my hopes up <clears throat> but uh it's not too far of a flight back to base i mean it is but it's only half the map away <laughs> so we will put more into movement speed with that being said we'll be back to base soon enough let me check something right quick Actually, this is taking less time than I thought. We've only been live for about 51 minutes now, or 52, and we've managed to kill all three Titans. And, uh, you know, we could probably, you know, kill King Titan um, here soon as well. Like a hawk tower, right there. So we'll head back to, to the tower, park the Quetzal. <clears throat> it still have food in it? Nice, it still has some. Yeah, the Quetzal parked. Uh, we'll head back over to Valgiro, um, put some stuff up. And then we'll, I guess we'll figure out where we're gonna go from there. We might go kill, you know, King Titan. I have to get my gigas situated. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get it done. This would be one of those good times for me to have that background music. Just fill her while I'm flying. <laughs> <clears throat> Not even that much like arc noise going on right now.
<clears throat> so we'll toss this loot away. Trophies. I believe it was Titan Bow Venom for the boss, so we'll probably need to get more Titan Bow Venom. So, yeah, we're going to gonna head back and grab the rest of these Gigas so I have all the Gigas in one place. I think that one got all the best possible stats, which means I can put all these away. Yeah. Saying. We need to get Titan Bow Venom. Might head over to the island to do that. We might take our Rhino. Actually, I'm gonna. I am gonna take it. Let's see what I need for. Can't move it on any cell fragments. So I don't have any in here. Wow, that's very surprising to me. <clears throat> no worries, we're still going to take the Rhino. Got almost 2,000 health from one level. It's pretty good. Also need to find my spectral Bigfoot. Hmm. 
Mm, there it is. Okay. We should be good to go to the island. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we got all the Titan text turning and everything. That was weird. <laughs> I think that was the uh, Force Titan. <laughs> Poor Billy. Alrighty, so let's head over to the island and run through the swamp. So I am going to turn the gamma up because I'm pretty sure on YouTube it is much harder for everyone to see. So hopefully that clears it up a little bit for everyone. Um, just checking right now. Get out of here, Patchy. Brightness change looks looks good. I'm a menace with this right now. Anything to? I think I'm stuck inside of this. Thing. Come on, eat it for me. Yeah, thank you guys. I'll see y'all. Oh, Titan Boa. That's actually what we're after. Yeah, that one's like an anaconda. There's a mod that like changes their sizes. Size was uh, 1.5, not too big actually.
Need to get higher stamina on these. What? How many points of stamina does this have? 75, and I still feel like it's pretty low. I can't even see him. I probably should get out of the forest. I'm sure y'all can't see if I can't see him. These rhinos are pretty strong. Alrighty, I'm just gonna call it there for getting time both in them. I believe we got enough. Make sure I still have. Yep. Alrighty, and we'll get out of here. I could have used this teleporter to leave. I didn't even think about it.
Alrighty, so we're back on Valgiro. Um, we got some levels on our Rhino, uh, and um, got some Titan Bow Venom, which we need to fight King Titan. So we are going to check something out right quick. Showcase our miner, the Spectral Miner. But there was some ore down here. Yes, indeed. Thought there was another one. <clears throat> Alrighty. <clears throat> so with that, we are. Um, what are we gonna do? We've got to start the seven days to die stream in like the next couple hours. Uh, we will. Hmm might take a short break and come back to this or we might just take a break and then go do the seven days to die stream this video or this stream was mostly put together uh, one to showcase arc and I'm gonna upload some arc videos every now and again and two I'm gonna edit this video and make it a little more watchable and uh, if anybody wants to know how to you know kill the Titans I'm gonna put that in there and everything so um, let me throw out my spectral, toss all my gear in there. Let me grab my teleporter remote out of this one. Make sure I got all my important stuff out. At least it, what I would consider the more important stuff. Alrighty. So with that, um, I'm going to at least call this episode here, and like I said, I'm going to edit this video down. If anyone is watching this far in, I just want to go ahead and say from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. It's awesome that anyone would watch this far in my videos, and I really appreciate it if someone is. Um, and if you are, I mean, let me know in the comments or something that you are, you know, watching toward, till towards the end of the videos. And I'll throw this up in, like, the middle of the video, in future videos, so I can, you know, get people in the middle, middle of the video as well. But uh, if you are watching, I, I really appreciate it. You let me know down, down in the comments that you are watching the videos, and I'll, like, I'll for sure remember your name uh, and if the channel or when the channel gets bigger like if you ever comment or do anything like that I'll remember your name so it's a uh, like a, a benefit to you know being here in the beginning any any of the first like hundred people that make any comments on my stuff I want to remember for sure but uh, I appreciate your uh, support any support I appreciate it so much and thank you for joining the video I'll see you in the next video I hope you have a great day